So what's going on everybody? Adam Neely with Build, Guild, and Refine TV coming back at you with another episode. So I did a thing today. Um, yeah, let's talk about it. All right, guys and gals. So I'm going to make this part brief because as you can probably tell, it's the end of a long work day. I'm exhausted. I'm filthy. Uh, and I don't have a whole lot left in me right now. But I'm going to share with you guys a decision that I just made today. And that is to leave the wall and go back to Milwaukee. Now, I grew up using Milwaukee tools. When I got into construction, I went Milwaukee. My dad and a lot of my brothers and a lot of friends, I guess almost everybody else, used DeWalt. And that was an easy way for me to know which tools were mine and nobody was stealing my batteries. So it was easy. But when my stepfather passed away a few years ago, I decided to leave Milwaukee and go yellow because it was kind of nostalgic for me and it gave me the sentimental feeling of using the tools that I always watched him use. Now they're great tools. I love the new brushless line. Now we use these Graco sprayers and even these sprayers use the, De the uh, DeWalt 20 volt platform. I even just, just, <laughs> just last week bought the 20 volt uh, seven and a quarter inch chop saw, which I gotta tell you, I love. That thing is amazing. We'll do a little video on that. Now where this really happened for me was when my third pass load 18 gauge Brad Nailer crapped out on me. Literally, my third. Fortunately, the newest one I was able to uh, return because it was only a couple months old. This one is about a year old. Um, no, the battery's not pushed in. I'm not gonna shoot my hand. This one's over a year old. Uh, I'm gonna have to try and fix it myself because it's not even worth having someone else fix it. But I kinda had enough today with the pass loads. I've been using pass load battery powered nailers since they came out. Framers and the uh, Brad nailers. I do like them, but I don't love them. And sometimes I even would pull out the pneumatic ones. But that being said, we're on a job right now where I needed to replace my 18 gauge Brad nailer. So I thought to myself, well, self, you need a new nailer. There's a really cool new nailer out. It's called Milwaukee. And you know you love Milwaukee, so I went with it. All right, I'm not even gonna open these right now. I'm gonna get to the, um, the meat and potatoes for you. I saw the nailer, I wanted the nailer. I said to myself, that looks like a good nailer. I watched a lot of cool reviews on it. Everybody had good things to say, for the most part. But I knew that I had already had an amazing experiences with Milwaukee. I was very happy with them. So I thought to myself, well, you know what else I need? I also need a new circular saw. Now, actually, just the other day, I sold my DeWalt rear handle, 60 volt, uh, flex volt, you know, yada, yada, yada. It was a great saw. It was a really good saw, but I just, like, I don't want to be pushing and holding all that weight all day long. Um, and I'm not really using them all day, to be honest with you. My guys are. Now, MC Chatter, he's got the Makita rear handle, which he loves. That is a lot lighter. You can actually one hand the, you can one hand the Makita. Where the DeWalt's just like, ouch, ouch, ouch. If you've got any tendonitis in the wrists or the elbows, it's going to be hurting. So, I still have my corded skill saw. You know, my, my worm drive, uh, SPT77W, I think it is, whatever. Uh, and I'll always keep that. I will use it and keep it and love it. But, I said to myself, you also need a new circular saw. So, I did go with the seven and a quarter non-fuel circ saw, though. I did not go with the fuel saw because I ended up getting a few things that I wasn't really expecting to get. So we got the surf saw. And I said, you know what? You can never have too many impacts and you always need a nice matching driver. So I decided to go with the fuel impact hammer drill driver set. You know what? I'm excited for these. I, they felt great in the hand. The DeWalt stuff feels fine. It feels great, especially with the little uh, skinny um, two amp batteries or whatever that is. The little XR batteries, you know, it feels nice. And I gotta tell you, the uh, oscillating tool, the multi tool, um, it, it's been good, but you know, nothing impressive. I have the DeWalt brushless uh, screw gun, uh, drywall screw gun. That thing's always jamming up on me. 
I have the DeWalt cutout tool, uh, the drywall cutout tool, and uh, you know, I miss my roto zip. I definitely miss my corded multi speed roto zip cutout tool. Uh, but it does the job fine. It, it totally does. It does the job fine. So I was like, okay, got the circ saw, got the nailer, got the, the driver set. Well, you need a few extra batteries, and it just so happened they were having a sale, so I ended up getting some batteries. That one, and then a little two amp, a little two amp job, you know? And then the guy who I love, I love this guy, his name's Seth. So Seth, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, man, because, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I hope you're excited. So Seth hooked me up with the, with, the, with the stuff. Not hooked me up, I wish you hooked me up. I wish it was all free. But we're not sponsored by Milwaukee yet. Yet, right Milwaukee? Now, that being said, I'm excited to also pick up the Milwaukee framing nailer, the new framing nailer. Um, I'm gonna pick up the Milwaukee oscillating tool and then the Milwaukee drywall tools. Um, and, then, and then I'm most excited about the Milwaukee seven and a quarter inch battery powered chop saw and the battery powered table saw, just for a lightweight portable setup so that we're not taking the Hitachis everywhere because we've got the Hitachis and those go to big jobs. That was an earful. I'm gonna stop now and go get some dinner. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a fan of these hard cases. I'd rather have bags. So we'll get a bunch of bags for these. But, oh, look at that, baby. That mean, you know, there's a, there's a, a size of a weight difference here, but look at the size difference of those. Okay, it's not that significant in reality. Now that's a pretty good feeling combo tool. I mean, I've been through a lot of these. As you can see here, actually, here, take a look at this. See, there you go. There's a bunch of old batteries just sitting there. Those batteries have been dead for a long time. So we got the that and the this and the charger, the handle for it. There. Let's get the surf saw out. Let's feel that bad boy. There's the blade. Come on, get out of there. Saw, so it's nothing exciting. The nice thing about the Milwaukee chargers, it's the combo charger for the M18 and the M12. I like that, just in case I pick up any M12 tools. I hate battery cases. This is ridiculous. design these battery things are this is ridiculous guys can we get like can we get a slightly easier battery thing to open I mean all right ah so this is the two amp hour battery um a little beefier comparing it to the two amp uh, DeWalt, there is a little size difference. Not much. Not much, but a little bit. So I always like having a light battery on when I'm wearing my impact on my belt all day long. Just makes it a little lighter. Now, now we're nice and streamlined. All right, we got these. All right, I'm not going to worry about this tonight. I'm going to go eat. See you later.